believe me or not, but we create a portable operating system Atlas OS. I find out how to run Atlas or Atlas OS from your USB stick. And yes, it's possible. And it's faster than Tiny 11 and Tiny 10 portable. For people who don't know, Atlas OS will going to modify Windows 10 original ISO file. Of course, I want to mention that all the process that you're going to do, it's under your own risk because you're going to modify Windows 10. Definitely, you need to do some important steps. And also, I want to warn you that this process may take about two to three hours. Yes, completely, to be honest, it's very long but after this process your usb stick will be super light super fast believe me i know what i'm talking about few words about system requirements i recommend to have a usb stick that at least has 32 gigabytes of storage usb 3.0 flash drive will be perfect but i think it will also work on usb 2.0 flash drive as well so let's get started so guys, we are in the windows and as you can see, I create a text document, instruction, click on it. I made some notes just to make it much easier for me to explain and for you to learn. So the first step is we need to create a bootable USB drive with Windows 10 using Rufus program. Okay, for this we need to open our browser. In my case, I will use Google Chrome browser. Click on it. Then you need to type next. Rufus, download and press enter. We need to scroll down a little bit and we need to click on download. From this website, we can download the Rufus program. So I will select portable version. You just need to click on it and it will automatically download on your laptop or PC. I successfully downloaded Rufus. So now I can close this window. Now we need to insert our USB stick. Yep, this is my USB drive. So friends, I want to warn you that all information will be deleted from your USB stick. Let's run Rufus. For this, you need to go to the place where you save Rufus. In my case, I need to click on download and I found Rufus. Now we need to click on it. Do you want to allow Rufus to check for application updates online? I will select no. Okay, fellas, we are in the Rufus. In short, here you need to select your USB stick. As you can see, this is my USB drive and it has 32 gigabytes of storage. Then we need to do one very important step. You need to click here, show application settings, click on it. In this window, we see next settings, check for updates. You need to click here where you see disable and you need to select daily default. After that, click close, close the Rufus. One more time, let's open Rufus. Next time you will see this option. You need to click on it and you can select download. The thing is, if you don't see this option, even after you repeat all the process, I recommend one more time, close Rufus and open it. And then this option will be available in the Rufus. What we need to do next? We need to click here, select download, then click here, wait a few seconds, download ISO image version Windows 11. We can click here, and select Windows 10. Continue. Simply to understand, we need to download Windows 10 ISO file. So for this, I'm using Rufus program, but if you wish, you can go to the Microsoft official website, use Media Creator tool and download Windows 10 original ISO file. It all depends on you, but honestly, I don't see any serious differences to use Rufus or Microsoft website. So we can click here and select the version of the windows literally i'm going to select 22h2 the latest version then click continue we have home pro and education okay one more time click here also you can select the language which will suit you the best i will select english united states and one more time click on continue then i recommend leave everything by default and select download now you can select the place where ISO file will be download. For the example, I will select desktop, click save and that's all. Now you just need to wait until Windows 10 22H2 ISO file will be downloaded on your laptop or PC. I want to repeat, if you wish, you can do the same process by using Microsoft website. It all depends on you. 
My friends, we successfully downloaded Windows 10 22 H2 ISO file and by default you will see this message. But if you don't have this option, you need to click on select, go to the desktop or to the place where you save ISO file, click on it and select open. Now please pay attention. If your laptop support UEFI, you can leave everything by default and click on start. But if you have quite old computer, I recommend to click here and select MBR. After that, click here, start. In this window, I recommend to check all of these options because in my opinion, they are convenient. For the example, you can disable data collection, create a local account, etc. And click OK. Warning you one more time that all information and all data will be deleted from your USB stick. Click OK. One more time, click OK. So let's wait until Windows 10 22H2 version will be installed on our USB stick. Yep, we successfully create a bootable USB drive with Windows 10. So now we can close this window, then move the mouse cursor, show hidden icons, select this USB icon and find your USB drive. Now you can safely remove your USB stick and shut down the power. Now we can proceed to the next stage. As you can see, this is my laptop Lenovo ThinkPad L430. If you have a computer, I recommend to unplug the internet cable. This is bootable USB drive with Windows 10. I will insert it to the laptop. Now we need to turn on the machine and enter the BIOS. So to enter the BIOS, you can press F1, F2, F10 or delete key. It all depends on your model. You can check on the internet which key you need to press to enter the BIOS in your laptop or PC. Okay, let's get it started. I will turn on the laptop and press F1 key. We are in the BIOS and now we need to find boot option. So in my case, I need to go to the startup. I want to mention that every BIOS may be different, but you can find boot option in every single BIOS. After that, I need to press enter. As you can see, this is my HDD drive and right now it is in the first place. And the second one is my USB stick. So I need to move it to the first place. For this, I will press F6 key. You can find in the BIOS information which key you need to press to move it up or down. Okay, I successfully moved my USB stick to the first place. After this, we just need to save the changes. Here, select exit saving changes, press enter and select yes. We are in the installation window. Here you can select the language, click next, install now. If you have a license key, you can click and enter your license key. But if you want to activate Windows later, you can click here. I don't have a product key. Now you can select the Windows edition. In my case, I will select Windows 10 Pro. Click next, check this option, click next. Please pay attention. We need to select install Windows only advanced. In short, everything is very simple. We need to delete each of these partitions. If you have some important data or information, I recommend to save them before you want to do this. Select partition, which you want to delete, select delete and repeat the same process here as well. But first of all, we need to create space for Windows 10. I recommend to type 83,000 megabytes, click apply, OK. From 83 gigabytes, we will get 81 gigabyte of space. Now we can select partition 2, 81 gigabytes. So literally Windows 10 will be installed on this partition. Then you need to click next. So folks, let's wait until Windows 10 will be installed on our laptop. After installation, the laptop will restart and you need to enter the BIOS one more time to change priorities. I will move it up and save the changes. My friends, this process may take some time, so you need to wait and be patient. Please pay attention, don't connect to the internet, select I don't have internet, continue with limited setup. As you can see, we create a bootable USB drive, unplug the internet cable, install Windows 10 22H2 on our laptop, and now we need to disable driver installation in Windows. So for this, we need to click here on the startup menu, click on the settings, then click on the system. I will open it in full screen to make it more convenient. Scroll down a little bit. Find about section. In the upper right corner, you need to find system protection. Click here. Then you need to select hardware. 
In this window, you need to choose Device Installation Settings. Click here. Do you want to automatically download manufacturer apps and custom icon available for your devices? I will select No. Be sure to save changes. Now we can close this window. After a whole this process, we can get the latest updates and of course, we need to connect to the internet. I will connect my laptop. I successfully connected to the internet and now we can get the latest updates. For this, you need to go to the settings, click on updates and security and select update. As you can see, it automatically searching for the latest updates. In short, you need to install all available updates and then we can proceed to the next stage. I install all necessary updates and sometimes you may see this message. They're forcing us to change the password, but the thing is, I don't have any password. So you just need to click OK and click here. That's all. The next step that you need to do is to disable security. For this, you need to go to the settings, select update and security, then find Windows security, open Windows security, select virus and threat protection, click on it, select manage settings, and now you need to disable all of these options. Okay. Of course, now we have possibility to modify Windows with Atlas OS. So for this, we need to open our browser. Then you need to type next Atlas OS download. So here you may see Atlas download. You need to click on it atlasos.net. So we can scroll down a little bit. And as you can see, we have an option to modify Windows 10 22H2. Atlas OS after installation will remove a lot of useless components and it will increase speed of our system. For the example, I will show you how many RAM and space system using right now. Windows 10 using right now 2.6 GB of RAM. Original Windows 10 22H2 with update takes 26.7 GB of storage. So let's get back to Atlas. Now we can click download now. My friends, please pay attention. We need to download these files. The first file and the second file, Atlas Playbook. Click on it. OK, downloading process begin. And also we can download the second file click here and it download as well. We need to unzip the archive. For this, I will move this program on our desktop. I already showed how to disable driver installation in Windows. So now you just need to move this file to your desktop. And finally, we need to launch this program. Click on it. More info, run anyway. So in this program, you need to click here and you need to go to the place where we save the second file, playbook. Click open. After that, you need to run this action, but sometime you can just click next. Click run action. It will check if the Microsoft Defender is disabled. As you can see, after I restart the laptop, it automatically turn on. So we need to again turn it off. Okay. Wait a few seconds. Now we can close this window and click next. Don't be shocked if you see this message, requirements not meet. We just need to run the action. Click here, wait a few seconds. As you can see, the system will restart automatically. After system restart, it will automatically launch this program and we can proceed to the next stage. Click yes. I want to mention that it will be not immediately. So probably you need to wait two or three minutes before the app will appear in your window. Then you need to click next. And voila, now we can successfully modify our windows. One more time, I want to warn you, this is under your own risk. Click next. Literally, you need to click next. You need to agree with the license. If you wish, you can read the license and we need to click here. Agree. Next. As you can see, the laptop may restart and that's normal. Don't press any button. Don't close window. Just wait. Stay confident. We successfully installed Atlas OS on our system. Literally, we modify Windows 10. And right now I'm going to show you the differences between Windows 10 and modify Windows 10. First of all, let's take a close look how much space does it takes right now. And as you can see, Atlas OS takes 15.5 gigabytes of storage. 
ok and as we previously said it takes only one gigabyte of ram and that's impressive now we need to open our browser and find this program i want to mention that this software is free available so as you can see we don't have some uh, google chrome browser or microsoft edge browser by default but as far as i understand we have some browser the legendary browser click on it let's type google.com press enter and pass the program which we previously copy this genius download press enter and here you'll find website thisgenius.com you need to click on it from this website we can download this program we can click download click save we successfully downloaded this genius on our laptop so now we can install it i will close this browser now we need to install this application english click next next now you just need to wait until installation process will finish fellas i successfully installed this genius on my laptop and now we're going to create a portable atlas os first of all i'm going to insert usb stick into the laptop click on it yes before we're going to start i recommend to delete unuseful files we don't need them anymore okay and let's get back to our software i will open it in full screen to make it more convenient to be honest everything is very simple you need to find os migration click on it then you need to select your usb stick click ok all information will be deleted so don't worry if you have some partition etc because all files will be format click ok in this window you may see my main operating system atlas os windows 10 22 h2 operating system and here we can see our usb stick if you wish you can check this option and click start okay hot migration my friends the installation process begin i want to be honest with you this process may take a while so definitely it all depends on your hardware on your usb stick of course you need to wait surprisingly it took only about 40 minutes and that's impressive believe me or not but we create a portable operating system atlas os and now we will be able to run it from our usb stick but first of all i want to show you one interesting thing i will go to the disk management click on manage disk management I will open it in full screen to make it more convenient and as you can see this is usb stick it has three partitions and this is our hdd drive so now we can shut down the power i'm going to remove hdd drive so i removed my hard drive yes i know i have a usb 3.0 flash drive and previously i said that you can repeat the same process even if you have usb 2.0 flash drive so what i'm going to do next i'm going to install my usb 3.0 flash drive into the usb 2.0 port and that's mean it will work with the same speed as usb 2.0 flash drive because it doesn't matter do you have usb 3.0 flash drive if you insert it into usb 2.0 port as you can see i install my usb stick turn on the laptop this is my hard drive my friends that's just insane i'm running atlas os literally from my usb stick so let's get into it first of all i want to show you that i'm using usb stick for real this is my usb stick literally it has 32 gigabytes of storage but as you already know it show less space that it really has obviously as you can see it take the same space as our hdd drive it use only one gigabyte of ROM. The speed is just insane, it works very fast. My friends, if you want to install browser, you can decide which browser do you want to install. For example, you can go to the Microsoft Store, click on the search, browser, press enter. I will install this popular browser, click on it, install. I successfully installed the browser on my system, so now I can open it. 
if you take a close look everything works correctly everything works very fast so in my opinion as i previously said it works even faster than tiny 11 and tiny 10 surprisingly faster than both of this operating system so literally i clone operating system from my hard drive to my usb drive and everything works perfect so guys if this video was useful for you please like it and if you want to know how to run tiny 11 from your usb stick i recommend to click here on this video for real